testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are back with another episode of Quick Hits. Like I said, we come at you twice a day, every day. Uh, we did it so earlier today uh, on Jar- uh, Jar- Jared Boots Enos and the future of the 147-pound division. We're back with the second episode related to the 147-pound division and young prospects. Uh, we're going to do this one on Connor Ben, who is absolutely for real. Uh, spectacular performance Saturday against Samuel Vargas, first round knockout. Uh, before we get into that, please like and subscribe, share on all forms of social media. 3D Boxing uh, Quick Hits comes at you twice a day, every day, 10 minutes, just to keep you up in the loop of all the current boxing news and rumors. So please like and subscribe, share on all forms of social media. Uh, it's 3D Boxing and 3D Boxing Blog. Uh, and also, before we get into the show, uh, <clears throat> The Autism Community in Action, TACA, is a charity that's near and dear to my heart. Uh, it's National Autism Awareness Month, so I wanted to bring this up. There's a link uh, in the description. Um, I will make sure I add a link in, in the description. Please share it uh, if, if you can. Um, if Please share it. Uh, if you can donate, it's, it's a great charity. Uh, it's absolutely worth it. It's near and dear to our hearts, doing great work in recovering people from autism. Let's get into the show, though. Uh, Connor Ben. Son of legendary Nigel Ben, it's for real. Uh, a lot of fighters come up and they're—I don't want to use Campbell Hatton or Shane Mosley Jr. or, or, or guys like this—but they, they don't really seem legitimate. Um, they're they're fine. They're you know Shane Mosley Jr. is a decent fighter um, and, and things like that. Aaron Pryor Jr. But they're. They didn't, they didn't earn it on their own. They're, they're, they're their dad's son, for sure. Um, Nigel Ben is not that guy. Nigel Ben destroyed Sebe- uh, Sebastian Familia, Familia not long ago, and then he absolutely took Samuel Vargas apart in one round, in, in a minute, less than one round, in a minute and change, 20 seconds or whatever it was. Um, he's for real. He's a two-way fighter. Now, you go back and you look back early in his fight when he got knocked out by the French journeyman pay, Paino. Um, is that, is, is am I saying that right? Early in his career, he almost got stopped. He got knocked down twice in the first round. He had to rally late, um, and knock, uh, Payno down in the f- sixth round fight, fifth and sixth round to eke out a decision. Um, and he got, I thought he won, but you could argue that it was a draw and, and he had to get two knockdowns late just to make that happen. Um, he comes in, he's defensively sound now. He moves well. He's got excellent angles. His footwork is good. He is so vastly improved over the last couple of years. Um, I, I put him in, in, in the mix for guys who are going to run the 147-pound division in the years to come. He's that good. Um, Like I said, he's a two-way fighter. He can fight coming forwards and backwards. He fights excellent off the back, but he's highly Highly athletic. He's a gifted guy. He has a he throws tremendous lead hooks. He's got a good jab. He can go to the body. He's also, you know, when he fought Pano, and I'm gonna keep going back to that fight because that's the fight where it looked like he was just, you know, his dad's son. That he he couldn't really earn this on his own, and he's so vastly improved from that. Now, that was early in his career. That was in 2017. So it was four years ago. Um, but he's a body puncher now. He wasn't then. Uh, he moves his head. He comes in with angles. He didn't then. Um, he can fight going backwards. He could not at all then. Uh, he was a straight come forward, you know, brawl, which seems weird because of how good he is on his feet and how quick he is. But he's added so many facets to his game. Um, Connor Ben is going to be a problem at 147 pounds. Um, yeah, I think he's ready. I, I like to see him fight Avenisian next. It's a fight I'd like to see. Um, fight Virgil Ortiz, he'd lose, but you know, <laughs> he's ready at 24. He's so improved. And he's got the natural athleticism, right? Like He's naturally athletic. He's got big power. He's quick. He's got lightning reflexes, but he's a boxer now. 
He, he, he's, he's good defensively. He comes in with angles. His footwork is sound. He's got good feet. He's got a good jab. He mixes up head and body really well. Like, this guy is surreal. He's going to be tough to beat. Um, he's a pretty complete fighter now, and it, it that's shocking. Right? Like, originally it looked like, okay, this guy, he's got his father's athleticism. He's got some good power. And I, I, obviously he's got some dog in him, right? And, and that's always, like, the question when you have the son of a legend who didn't grow up hard, you know, had an easy, easier life growing up. Is he going to have that fight in him? Is he going to have that dog in him? There's no question. You go back, he, he, even early in his career, when he had to rally late to get two knockdowns to win, he did it. He's got the dog in him. He's got the dog in him. He's got the skill. Um, he's got the power. He's got the natural athleticism speed. He's got angles now. Um, I'm super hyped on this guy. Uh, the Formiglia fight, he beat up Formiglia every bit as well as Sean Porter did. He really did. Now, you're going to say Formiglia's no big deal. Okay. Then in his next fight, he blew out Samuel Vargas. Blew him out around. This is a guy that went the distance with Khan. Um, Virgil Ortiz, who's a seek and destroy guy, it, it, it took him six rounds, I think, to get him out. And, and um, Ben came and took him out in a minute. Overwhelmed him. Beautiful uppercuts up the middle, right? Like, beautiful combination punching. Fierce, explosive power. Uh, he's not Jared Enos yet, okay? Um, he, but he's good. He's good. He's going to win world titles. He's going to win a world title at least. I mean, world titles is tough. But this is a future world champion. He's got that much skill. And I, I, I'm going to say that now. Um... The future is bright. I, I think of all the young British fighters, you know, under the age of 25, let's say, this may be your best guy. This may be your best one. He's that good. Uh, like I said, I want to see the Avin Yeastin fight. Yeah, but any of the fights. Um, Jamal James. You know, um, Delorme just lost, so let's get rid of him. Um, Abel Ramos. Oh, uh, Omar Figueroa, anything like that. I, I'm into these fights. That's the fight I want to see him. The winner of Omar Figueroa and Abel Ramos is who I want to see him fight next. I, I think he's that good. I really do. I, I think he's ready for that, that that level of competition. The skills are all there. The athleticism is there. The power is there. And he's a boxer now. He's not just an athlete who punches. He's a boxer. The skills are there. Two-way, gifted fighter. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, you know, um... Are you guys as high on him as I am? Do you think he's got a future? Do you think he's a future world champion? Because I, I, I think he's all of the above. Leave your thoughts and comments below. Uh, please like and subscribe. Share on all forms of social media. Um, it is April 13th, 2021. Ivan Calderon is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. We need to make that change. Let's get the Iron Boy in the class of 2021. Um, again, that link to Taka, the autism community. Community in action, TACA, like a, a female taco. Uh, it's in the description, Taco. Now, please donate, uh, like, uh, please like and subscribe to 3D Boxing as well. Um, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.